Hello, this is Julia from Massage by Julia, and today's video is showing you the proper way that manual lymphatic drainage therapy, or MLD, is done on a client. Could be a perfectly healthy person who wants to just boost their immune system, or it could be somebody with lymphedema or uh, lipedema, or it could be needed after cosmetic surgery. And my colleagues and I around the country are really concerned that a lot of the videos on YouTube are not showing the proper way of manual lymphatic drainage therapy. It's done very, very gently, and it's done with dry hands, no oils, it's not painful at all, and we definitely are not picking open surgical incisions or picking open the scabs to try to push fluids outside the body. That is not the proper way to do lymphatic drainage therapy. And in fact, I made a video, you can find it on YouTube, on my channel, that talks about how to find a therapist who's actually got the right credentials, who's qualified and certified. Really important, so check out that video. But I've got the massage table set up with a client, and I'm gonna show you just a quick uh, upper body sequence of the proper way of doing gentle lymphatic drainage therapy, MLD. This is the classic traditional way of doing lymphatic drainage therapy on somebody who they could be a perfectly healthy person who just wants to boost their immune system or detox. It could be a lymphedema or lipedema patient or it could be somebody who's just had cosmetic surgery and they are a little bit bloated and they need some lymphatic drainage therapy for that for a few weeks. With everybody, we start here at the throat. We've got two subclavian veins, which is the ending point of your lymphatic system. This area here is sometimes called the terminus. It's the ending point. All the lymph in the body comes up here to the throat to these two veins. And so I am clearing or emptying these veins. These veins with their lymphatic fluid enter into the heart and lungs and then the lymphatic fluid goes through the body again mixed in with your blood which eventually goes down through the kidneys and then you urinate out the excess. So that's the drainage part of lymphatic drainage therapy. We call it MLD for short, manual lymphatic drainage therapy. It is not massage. It's a very, very light touch. So I am pulling, it can be either straight down as far as the skin will stretch and then release and pull down and release about one per second rhythmically, which is how the body does it naturally. Or you might see it done in little half circles. There's a little pause at the end, ending movement. Do a several of those, do a couple of those, and then we try to bring the lymphatic fluid up from the arms, around the back, and up over the shoulders. I'm just going to run through this briefly. We've got lymph nodes in front of and behind the ears. There's also a whole facial sequence that I'm not going to go through right now, but we can do that. A very important part of the lymphatic system is your lymphatic duct, which runs underneath your sternum bone. We've got lymph nodes along the sternum inside. The lymphatic duct takes lymphatic fluid <clears throat> from the abdomen up into these subclavian veins. So again, I'm just stretching and releasing the skin here multiple times. Now MLD is done with dry hands. So if you have a therapist who is using a lot of oil and sliding over the skin in different directions, that is not lymphatic drainage therapy. 
make sure you go to somebody who's certified and I have a video on YouTube you can find it to find out how you can make sure your therapist is certified and has the right training it's very gentle because 70% of your lymphatic vessels are just under the surface of the skin they're one cell thick one cell wide and you cannot use any pressure any deep lymphatic work is not proper lymphatic drainage therapy you're just going to be crushing closed your lymphatic vessels and blocking lymph the entire time you can't do that so then <clears throat> I might come over here we've got a lot of lymphatic uh, lymph nodes in the armpit called the axillary area the axilla so then I would direct the flow of lymph if necessary again with little half circles very gently just stretching the skin and releasing multiple times because the stretching action helps the walls of the lymphatic vessels open and there's a suctioning effect it sucks in the excess lymph fluid that has escaped outside the lymphatic vessels so every time I'm stretching the skin with the light pressure the walls of the vessels are opening and pulling in excess lymph So there's a whole arm sequence. We would spend several minutes working on the arm, upper arm, lower arm. There's a whole hand sequence. It depends on what the person needs. Now, if somebody is a cancer patient and they've had a lot of lymph nodes removed from, let's say, this armpit area, this axilla area, I would not be able to try to I wouldn't be pushing lymph up into this area that's already blocked especially if they have lymphedema the swelling so in that case we would be rerouting to other parts of the body that have healthy lymph nodes and that your certified therapist would understand how to do So there's a, uh, an arm sequence all the way down the arm, forearm and hand. I would do that on the other side. And then we can also always come back to do more clearing of the throat. And then I would move down to do the abdominal area. And I'll do that next. So I've got my client here set up so I can do her abdominal area. The superficial lymph nodes from here to here drain towards the side and up towards the armpit and the same on this side. And the superficial nodes are more like a triangle here from the area of the belly button, which is called a watershed. It's like a belt around the body down to the pubic area, the superficial lymph drains towards the inguinal nodes right here on both sides. The deep lymphatic vessels drain the opposite way towards a gland in the center and then up that lymphatic duct that I was talking about before. So we start with the light drainage movement pattern on the superficial vessels encouraging the drainage out to the side and so it can then travel up the channel to the axillary region and I would do that several times do the same on the other side then I'd like to palpate the lymph nodes here that run from the lower abs inside to the medial side of the hip bone, the upper leg. And then we drain, just pulling and releasing the skin, which underneath is opening the cell walls of your lymphatic vessels. This area drains here to the inguinal nodes. I do the same on the other side. And then I'd start doing a little bit deeper work, some scooping movements to try to encourage the lymph from the mid-level and deep level 
vessels to drain towards the center. There's a gland in the center area here. We want to encourage them to drain towards the center. I do that several times. Come down here in front of this hip bone, kind of at an angle, the four corners. Do this several times. And I have my client resting her legs up on a bolster so that this the skin here is a little softer so it's easier for me to work it's more comfortable for the person okay and then there's also a deep breathing deep belly breathing sequence that they have the client do themselves i have a video you can watch showing that and also there is a they do the deep breathing while i'm pushing on different areas of the abdomen to really get those muscles pushing down onto the deep vessels because that's the main way how the lymphatic fluid moves through the body is the muscles knocking against the vessels and encouraging them to bring their fluid up to the throat area. And then after this, depending on the situation with the client, I would move on to the legs and the feet and then sometimes I have them roll over and there's an entire sequence on the back of the body. So just to reiterate, this is the proper way to do lymphatic drainage therapy it's with dry hands. It's very, very gentle. If anybody is trying to do deep work, painful work on you, it means that they don't have the proper training and certification. So don't let them do that. That's not lymphatic drainage therapy. Thank you for watching.